Hello everybody and welcome back for another video. We are on position 27 today of the complete chess endgame course and we're still on rook endgames. Now this is a variation of the position 26 where instead of the white rook being in front of the pawn uh, to protect it, now the black rook is in front of the pawn and the white rook is protecting the pawn on the seventh rank. Now there's uh, some specific qualities of this position. We're going to start as white. Now the specific quality is that the black king cannot pass along the seventh rank and that presents some problems for black because if he can't get to b6 and threaten this pawn and if the white king can prevent it then white will infiltrate the position win this rook and be able to queen the pawn uh, or at least trade the queened pawn for the rook so let's see if it's white to move we'll just start here so white would just play king to b5, controlling the c6 square. And now black can't come in. If we see the rook try to just make a move uh, because there's really no good move for the king, then we just see white march his king up and queen and win. A very simple win. Um, now let's just go back here. So if black just tries to play, just giving an example, rook to c8, uh, it's still lost, but black can check. And now if he tries the perpetual check thing here, then white just eventually gets in front of uh, the black king and there's no more checks. Or uh, if the king wasn't here, for example, uh, if instead the king was on here, then white could just interpose. So there's plenty of ways to stop the black rook checks and there's no win for black and white has an extra queen. So that's very easily won for white. All right, let's go to the next position. In position 27, as black to move, white has a little more complicated task. So it's still one for white, but he has to find the right plan. Now, obviously the first move by black would be king to c6, moving closer to this b6 square. Now if the white king was just one square further down, he wouldn't be able to win. Black would get to b6, and the pawn would be one, and it's a drawn game. But because white can play king to a5, now we see that white is controlling these very important squares with the help of the rook, and his plan is to move the king up and eventually get to b7, trading the queen pawn for the rook. All right, so after uh, rook to g8, black has a few options after king to a6. Now if black tries rook to g1, threatening a simple mate, uh, that doesn't really work because white queens would check. So we can't really remove the rook from the eighth rank yet or ever, I guess you'd say. Now, if we go back, instead of rook to g8, if we see king to c5, just trying to keep white out of b7, now if white just goes here, I'll just play there again, then we could see king to a6, and then king to c6. Now, white doesn't wanna just keep repeating moves, but with king to a6, white is protecting the a7 pawn, leaving the rook free to find the right plan, which is, Rook to h1. Now the plan is to check the king. Now you don't really want to just check the king here because black can just keep moving his king along this c file. The plan is you want to get the king away from the c file. And with the white king controlling these important squares, after the move, or any move really, uh, king rook to e8, we just see check. And now white finally completes the plan with king to b7. There's some checks, but after the final interposition on c8, it's game over. Now, black can bring the rook back and then check, but after uh, queen to b7, just giving away the queen for the rook. And notice you don't really want to bring the king here uh, because the rook could just keep checking. Uh, eventually, he's going to lose the queen for the rook. So might as well just play queen to b7, trade, game over. All right, so this was a, a very important position that you'll see a lot in practical play as rook endgames. And I would say it's more common than the other one where the rook's in front because a lot of times you'll get your rook to the seventh rank and you'll have that frustrating position where you can't take the time to get the rook behind the pawn, which is the ideal solution in rook endgames. And black is very close to your pawn. So it's kind of walking a tightrope there. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in position 28. Have a good day. Bye.